Welcome to Learn with Roblox. In today's video, we're going to complete the square to solve quadratic equation, so let's get right into it. This first problem says x squared plus 8x is equal to 0. To do this, we need to complete the square, and to complete the square, you first take the coefficient on the x term. Here, that coefficient is 8. And now there's two steps you need to do to complete the square. The first step is divide the number by 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Then the next step is you have to square that number. So now you have 4 squared, and that's equal to 16. And this is the number you're going to use to complete the square. So all you need to do is add this number to both sides. So I'll have x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to 16. And you have to add 16 to the right-hand side as well, because whatever I do to the left-hand side of an equation, I have to do it to the right-hand side to make sure it's still fundamentally the same equation, or else I'm going to get a different answer. And then now we can just factor this. x squared plus 8x plus 16, you can easily factor that as just x plus 4 squared. And how can you do that so fast? Well, remember how I said you have to do 8 divided by 2 for the first step of completing the square? Whatever number you get when you divide by 2, which it was 4 in this case, that's the number you can put into the factored expression. So that's a very quick trick you can use. And then this whole thing is set equal to 16. And then now I see that we have x plus 4 squared. I can just take a square root to get rid of that squared. So why don't I do that? Take the square root of both sides. And after that, I'll have x plus 4, because the square and the square root will cancel out, is equal to the square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. It's not just 4, and the reason that's the case is because we're doing this in a quadratic equation. Whenever you take the square root of something and you're doing it to cancel out a square, you have to take the positive and the negative solution. And now we have x plus 4 equals plus or minus 4. So let's just subtract 4 from both sides. So now I have x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus 4. And now let's just find both solutions. So we can take the plus solution and the minus solution. So minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Minus 4 minus 4 is it is equal to minus 8. So these are our solutions. So let me just rewrite all of this. By completing the square, we found out that x is equal to 0 and is equal to minus 8. Let's move on to some harder problems. 